Hello and welcome to another happy mailbag. Hi, I'm Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and each week I show you how you can make cards and other crafty projects because if I can make it, you can too. So if you'd like to see more inspirational videos and tutorials, be sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. So today's video is what I'm doing once a month to share all the happy mail that I'm basically getting from you guys and some swaps. So not only am I trying to show what I make, to inspire you to create. I love sharing what you guys create and give you kudos because sometimes hard making can be a little, I don't know, intimidating. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've got this big bag, well, little bag, but it's it gets fuller every month. So I think that is really, really cool. You guys are super awesome. And this is actually for the these are the cards that I received in two different swaps. I hold a swap on my Facebook group, Crafting with Debbie, and I'm also participating in swaps on the Foiling Snobs Club Facebook group. I've got links to both of those, um, those Facebook groups down in the description and over on my blog. So after the, after the video, you can head on over to the blog post. You'll be able to see a photo of all of the different cards on here. Um, that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So I'm going to start off with the ones from the Foiling Snobs Club. So we're going to start off with this one from Miss Cynthia Johnson. I usually use my bone folder to do this. I figure I'm not going to cut anything with it and hopefully I won't destroy the card. So far, so good. Ooh, this one is so, so, so pretty. Look at that. The theme for Foiling Snob Club this month was graduation. Mother's Day or Starkey. So she did this lovely Mother's Day card and she's got the um, embellishments just layered up. I love that look. And she gave me a little note in here too. And she stamped it as well. So this is one that can be reused. That is really nice. So thank you so much, Cynthia. That is lovely. Next, we've got one from Katina Kenton. And again, these are all, these first ones are from Foiling Snobs Club Swap. And it's another uh, Mother's Day card. I have a feeling a lot of us did Mother's Day. That's what I did. <laughs> So as you put a little note in, and I love these, um, I actually include that in most of mine. It says, I didn't sign this card before I sent it off to you, although it holds my warmest thoughts, invisible but true. So if you find you need to brighten someone else's day, just take the card and sign it and send it on its way. And that is something that I love doing. That way, that way, although I'm giving out the card, it's where my friend who's receiving it can also reuse it and give it to someone else if they choose. So this is lovely. She did the eclipse um, technique, and that is just so darling. I love that. Here, and then the next one we have is uh, Miss Melissa Klepser. Okay, so, so she did a little mini slim line and I can already see things are starting to fall out of it. <laughs> so this one has, this one is snarky. So we've got a roll of toilet paper. We've got <laughs> a, a little um, turd there that says PU and then the roll of toilet paper with no toilet paper left on it and she says I, I love you with all my toilet paper my stash of toilet paper is bigger than my heart <laughs> that is too funny and she included a mini slim, slimline envelope so that I can use that again later if I choose to okay and she stamped the back. So thank you so much, Melissa. That is hilarious. Thank you. And then we've got one from Jen Nabel. It says on the back, filled with hugs. Let's go ahead and get that opened up. And I'm mostly holding it off screen so that I don't accidentally share their addresses. I'm trying not to do that. 
for privacy of all of our folks. Oh, that is cute. Happy Mother's Day. You, you, in car years, you're a classic. So that, I think, could go well as a birthday sentiment, too. Oh, that is pretty. I like that. And she's got it stamped on the back as well. And I have a, this is not the same kind of car, but I have a red convertible Miata. So I think that is close enough, right? So next we have um, Deborah Littlefield. And we've got another Mother's Day card with some hyacinths on there. That is so pretty. And she did the inside too to match, which is real nice too. Thank you so much, Deborah. So these are the ones that I got from the Foiling Snobs Club, folks. Go ahead and get those out of the way, and then we can start on the ones from Crafting with Debbie. So the first one was not actually part of this month's swap, it was last month's and she had just had some trouble getting the card out in the mail and that is perfectly fine Miss Susan. We all have issues and that is fine. So this is from Miss Susan Parrish. She also joined the swap like kind of last minute so. So this month, last month we had a spring theme so she's got this real pretty card with the embossing and the little bird that is so cute. And she wrote me a long note. She uh, she thanked me for um for being patient with her with her tardiness and for not banning her. So, so that is perfectly fine. This is a lovely card and thank you so much, Susan. Next, we're going to go ahead and start on this month. So I'm going to start with this Gala Gilliland. Now I had already taken it out of the main envelope, and I don't really recall why. I think it was just because of the way that it was packaged. But to start off with, she's got a wax seal on the back that I think is really neat. And then she used the gorgeous girl's um, images for the card. That is just too pretty. She's got everything stacked up and pretty well, um, I'm sure that it's foam, but it's like a real fit, firm foam that she's got underneath there. That is just so pretty. It's kind of a collage-y look. So that, I like that, Miss Gala. Thank you so much. Then we've got this one from TR. And she also has a Facebook, she also has a, a YouTube channel. And let me see how I'm going to open this without ripping anything. So she took a, a manila envelope. And I don't want to rip the card. So that's, I think that's why I did that one too. It was in a special envelope. And I was afraid I was going to rip something, so I went ahead and opened that early just to be on the safe side. Okay, I opened it from the wrong end, but oh well. Don't want to mess it up. She made a, a Memdex card. So she was saying if you'd like to, um, to decorate it. So she sent me that, and it looks like she sent me a little extras in here. Oh my goodness, she sent me some cardstock. So this is some, some shimmer cardstock with a, a linen embossed pattern on it. You guys can probably see that. That's real pretty. Thank you. And then here is the card that she gave me and she made a matching tag that is embossed. And she's got glitter on there too. That is so pretty just says for you. Thank you Miss TR. And I've been really enjoying her new videos. She's a, a, got a fairly new YouTube channel and um, she's been doing some interesting things over there. So next one I have and this one is the last one for today is from Miss Camille Ernst. And it is a pretty thank you card with some gold embossing on there. She heat embossed and used some stickles. 
And she has that same little note in there. I didn't sign this card before. I sent it on to you. And hers is stamped on the back. This is really, really pretty. So those are the cards that I have for this happy mailbag. Let me go ahead and bring the others back out for a final look. If I can get them all to fit. <laughs> so I want to thank all the ladies that participated in the swaps for swapping with me. And I hope I get to swap with you again real soon. Um, like I said, we do have, there is a monthly swap over at the Foiling Snobs Club. And I'm holding a monthly swap over at the Crafting with Debbie Facebook group. And there will be links to both of those groups down below in the description. If you'd like to join us, go ahead and click on the links. Just be sure to answer all of the questions when you get to the sign up page over on Facebook so that we can get you approved. We want to make sure that there's no robots or anything trying to get into our groups. <laughs> Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and remember, if I can make it, you can too. Talk to you soon.